Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today it is Season 1, Episode 14, A Bullet for Baldwin, starring John Quaylen as Mr. Step, Sebastian Cabot as Mr. Baldwin and Mr. Davidson, and Philip Reed as Mr. King. And this is a solid episode all the way around. There's nothing spectacular about it, but there's nothing bad about it either. So we start with two of our main characters, Mr. Step and Mr. Baldwin, and they're in an office. And we find out that Mr. Baldwin is being let go or fired after working with a company for over 20 years. Naturally, he's upset about this, and it's also worth noting that Mr. Baldwin's pretty cold about it. So Step takes out a gun, and he actually shoots Mr. Baldwin. And on his way out, he talks to a cleaning man about maybe waiting to uh, clean the room because Mr. Baldwin doesn't want to be disturbed. So we go to the next day, and we find out that Step's been out all night. And he comes home, and he's resting, and his office calls, which uh, seems kind of normal. But then they tell him that Mr. Baldwin's asking for him. Well, naturally, Step is very confused, so he goes back to the office the next day, and we meet our third main character, Mr. King. And he's talking uh, to Step about the job, and Step is very confused. So at this point, Step actually admits to Mr. King that he killed Mr. Baldwin, and he seems a bit disturbed, but he also sees seems genuinely upset about this and it's kind of weird that he admits everything but Mr. King says I think you imagined it or you're delusional and if Mr. King seems to not be taking this seriously it'll make sense as the episode progresses I like the way this was done so Step sees uh, Baldwin at this point and he's very surprised naturally and I must say that Baldwin seems a lot happier than he did in the opening scene leading us to believe something might be up he seems pretty happy he's talking to a lady and things like that so Mr. King at this point uh, makes up a story he tells Step you've done a good job here I want you to hire yourself an assistant I want you to give yourself a five dollar raise which is was a decent amount of money then, I suppose. And uh, it's also notable at this point that Step is very confused, and he also has the gun on him, and he puts it in his desk, which will be significant later on. So we go to the next scene, and we have a meeting between Mr. King and Mr. Baldwin. And after the meeting... Mr. King calls Mr. Baldwin Mr. Davidson. So we find out the whole plot at this point, which uh, is a little abrupt, but it works. Uh, we find out that Mr. Baldwin is being played by this Mr. Davidson, who just happens to look exactly like him, naturally. And he's a paid actor, basically. And Mr. King tries to pass off this story that uh, Mr. Baldwin is basically just sick, not dead. But... Basically, Davidson's not buying it, he's questioning it, and he thinks at first that King had something to do with it, but King says, it wasn't me, it was Step who did it, and he says, I saw him do it, and I knew that everything would be in ruins if he was gone. I would have liked a little more explanation on this. Uh, would the company have just been destroyed because the main guy was gone? Uh, it couldn't recover in any way. I thought this was a little weird, but I'll just go with it. So basically, he set up this elaborate plan King did to um, make everything fall into place. So, at this point, uh, Davidson reluctantly says, okay, I'll go along with this, but uh, we do have a couple loose ends. So, they come up with this pretty elaborate plan to uh, pretend that the already dead uh, Baldwin has killed in a fire. And then they have one more loose end, of course, which is Step, and King says, I'll take care of him. So, King calls Step into his office at night when everybody else is gone. Um, and he tells Step, we have to let you go, and he blames Step for hiring the assistant and asking for the raise, uh, or giving himself a raise, which are, of course, things that King told him to do. So Step is upset about this, and he pleads with King, but it's no use. King says, we have to let you go, take a vacation, leave, whatever. So Step is, of course, upset, and I think we can now predict what's going to happen. He pulls out the gun, and he basically kills King. But this time on his way out, he talks to the uh, cleaning man again, uh, and he basically says, uh, go ahead and clean it. There won't be anybody there. So uh, he must have thinks he hallucinated it again. I'm not really sure. Kind of done as a, a dark humorous type scene. And the episode in general, it has a decent tone and mood. It never hits the great, uh, the greatness level. But it, it's a decent solid episode to watch at least one. So I give a bullet for Baldwin a 3 out of 5. Just a good solid episode. So 3 out of 5 for a bullet for Baldwin. And as always, thank you very much for watching.